Okay, let's take a closer look at the My Bubbles library. Hit the little cog in the top right to jump to the settings menu and in there into the account settings. Simply click through the login, sign up option. Then you'll see the login and at the bottom the sign up bit. Just add your details in here. The username you choose will be public if you share any bubbles and it also needs to be unique. You'll see here the field for your scope activation code and you'll find that on the back of your instructions in your packaging. You'll need to create your free bubblepix.com account so that you can access the full app features. When you use your app, your app will automatically log into your account so you won't have to worry about it too much in the app again. But do make a note of your username and your password because you will need it when you log into bubblepix.com itself. When you're logged in, you can now access your share settings menu. You've got a couple of toggles to help set the default settings for when you upload bubbles to bubblepix.com. If you have a Facebook account, you can log in here too. That will pre-authorise the app, so you only need to do it once. If you have a Twitter account and you want to tweet your bubbles, you'll need to make sure you've allowed the BubblePix app to use your account in the Twitter settings in the normal phone settings menu. Okay, by hitting the back buttons, you get all the way back to my bubbles. In here, it's all really simple stuff. Just click on a thumbnail to view one of your bubbles, finger swipe to look around as usual. If you want to share or use your bubble, just hit the action button and you'll find the options. You can simply upload it to your bubblepix.com account and whenever you upload, you can add a title and tags. You can also choose to share it publicly with or without its location.